Have you ever wondered if we're going to have babies on the new earth? You know, after this earth has passed away, are we going to have babies? Are there going to be babies born on that new earth? Have you ever thought about that? I hadn't either. However, I started thinking about something. I started thinking about the verse that talks about a thousand generations in the Bible. And then it caused me to start thinking, wait, how many generations have there been on earth? Let's take a look at those passages today and, and discuss some of that. Hi, I'm Apostle and Prophet Guy Gifford, and, uh, and this is what Apostles and Prophets think about this kind of stuff, as well as a million other things. So let's take a look at that. Will there be babies born? On the new earth. Okay, first thing we have to do is look at the passages that talk about that. Easy way to do that is look it up on Bible Gateway. A thousand generations, and let's see the passages, what it says. It says, God says in Exodus 26, but he shows love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commands. There's that thousand generations. And Deuteronomy 5.10, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commands. Um, Deuteronomy 7.9, know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. 1 Chronicles 16, 15, he remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations. There it is again. Psalms 105, 8, he remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations. That causes us to start thinking, a thousand generations? Um, how many generations have there been on the earth since then? Since since it's been built, since God created and put man on the earth. Well, thinking about that, we'll think about, okay, let's see. If we go all the way back to Adam and Eve, uh, who I believe were faithful up into their sin and even faithful after that, although they were still sinners, there was sin in the world, but I do believe that they were uh, probably godly uh, people after that, not saying sinless. Okay, so uh, if we go all the way back there, which would be about 6,000 years, and then we take it all the way forward, another 1,000 years of the Millennial Kingdom, uh, because I believe that we are almost on top of that millennial time, that 1,000-year reign of Christ, then what we have, and I'll pull this up here in front of you here. I don't know if you can see it in the tiny little letters here, but basically we have 7,000 years. Then we have to decide how long a generation would be, how long it would take to produce another generation. And at first I was thinking, well, let's shoot for 20 years. That's pretty good. You know, females who are 20 years old uh, having, having children and stuff. And I thought, that's, wait a minute, my numbers aren't working out very well uh, because it's so few generations um, at the numbers I was looking at. So I decided, let's put in 15 years for uh, reproductive time for females to have generations. And what do we have is 7,000 divided by... 7,000 years divided by 15 years for a generation for a young for the young women to produce um, children. Boy, now that I think about it, that would technically be, be uh, getting pregnant at 14 because they'd have to have a year of gestation, right? A uh, year of pregnancy, roughly. But anyway, so what we run into is this, this number, which is 466 or 467 generations from Adam to the end of the world, till the end of this earth when God destroys it. If that's the case, let's think about that a little bit. If that's the case, and God has foretold that he will remember his covenant to us for a thousand generations, then that means 
logically, that implies that on the new earth, there will be procreation. There will be babies born to those living there. Um, now this is, now we're starting to talk about things and it's, it's interesting, but, but that's the implication that there will be, after this earth is gone, the new earth will have procreation seems to be what it's saying. Now some will say, oh, God is just being, God is just being hyper, hyperbolic, hyperbolic. He's just, he's just saying big things. Says God, you know, some people believe that God says hyperbolic things, that he says uh, uh, hyperboles. Um, I, in my studies of God and knowing him, I don't think he does. When he says he's going to do something, he does it. Uh, there is hyperboles in the Bible and in some places, but it's not God about what he is, he is declared that he's going to do. Um, which puts it in a whole different area. Now, I call that lying if God says that he's going to do something, that he's going to do something, he promises that he's going to do that thing without caveats, and, and he doesn't do that, I call that lying. I believe that's how God <clears throat> designed lying. And so, in my studies, God doesn't do that. He sometimes says... I will do something, um, but as he says, if you if you change your behaviors, I will change my behaviors, um, and such. But that's not but that's not what this this promise is. That's not based on us us falling. He's saying that he will do that uh, for a thousand generations of those who 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 walk in his ways. And that there has always been somebody from Adam onward who has been, you know, keeping his commands, walking in his way. None of us keeping them perfectly. But on the other hand, he said these things after Adam and Eve. Uh, so there, we have to understand that, that, that we don't have to keep them perfectly because it's based on those who love me and keep my commands. Uh, and that's the point. Those who love him and attempt to keep his commands and such. So it looks like that way. Now I need to make a distinction here too, because when we think about this, babies being born, it brings us to that other passage where Jesus says, uh, don't, you under, don't you know that in heaven there will not be marriage? It will be like the angels, which... You know, which when we say, okay, there's not going to be angels, will be like, or be, not going to be marriage, will be like the angels, then that seems to imply that in heaven, that there won't be procreation. Uh, but I'm not talking about heaven here. I'm talking about what God says, what Jesus said about the new heaven and new earth that is coming. The new earth part, uh, that in the new heaven, Maybe maybe there is procreation and marriage in the new heaven, just not in the current heaven. I don't know. We don't see anything about angels having babies and procreating in that regard. We don't. But this is this is another another category. This is in the new earth. Will there be will there be babies born to humans in the new earth? And if there is this, if, if this is to be true, if God's, what God is saying, it certainly seems to imply that there will be babies born uh, to those who are alive on the new earth. Those who make it through to the end of this earth and are brought to the new earth, apparently they will have, they will continue procreating and creating new generations so it's something to think about uh and uh and i just want you to to think about those things if you're interested in stuff like that if you're interested in those deeper things please comment below give me your opinion on this stuff uh give me your questions if you have any tough questions or anything like that 
I'd be glad to entertain them based on what the Bible says, based on what God has uh, revealed and such. So God bless you. Keep studying his word. Keep drawing close to him because he wants to have a personal relationship with you. And with that, I will say my adieus. God bless you.